<laughs> Good Wednesday morning to you ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, still alive and in color from Canyon Lake Corps of Engineer Park near New Braunfels, Texas. Uh, it's a cool morning. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Canyon Lake, Texas? Must be slow. In Canyon Lake, it's currently 56 degrees. 56 with a high of 75. Not too shabby. But anyway, yeah, I'm still alive in my 2021 Thor Four Winds Motorhome Class C 24 footer. And uh, what else? Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's up to you. Nobody else. Times are passing. I got my antenna pointed up to the sky, so I'm in touch with the universe. But having said that, moving right along. If there's anything you want to do, you better be doing it. Times are passing. Uh, hey Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? In Bangor, it's currently 38 degrees. 38 with a high of 56 and no chance of rain. Not too shabby. These are my buddies back here. This is uh, Smokey Bear, not Smokey the Bear, but smoke, just Smokey Bear. And that is Thang, and that is Star, and this is... Uh, the last of the old bananas and ring in the new and that's Mr. Bojangles and Gumby and all kinds of stuff up there but having said that moving right along hey Google tell us a joke why did the man name his dogs Rolex and Timex because they were watchdogs one liners will do three of them or so I'm currently reading a book called my life by Bill Clinton it freaked me out. I didn't think he knew anything about me. My life, you got it. I have a book in my toilet all about the velvet underground. There's nothing like a Lou Reed. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm out of touch, guys. I'm reading a book called The History of Glue. I couldn't put it down. All right. Those are, I'll write those down. <laughs> Anyway, we're just, it's a, a little humor, maybe. There's a very little, but anyway, moving right along to what are we here for? Comments. So, let's see. Uh, this is Kathy McGraw. Thanks for the tour. We had reservations. <coughs> we had reservations in January. We couldn't keep. This is great. Yeah, it is. Uh, anyway, this is Ralph P. Uh, good morning, Rusty and all. Looks like a nice camping spot. I'm sure the goat approves, LOL. Yeah, the goat likes it. The alien goat, alien screaming goat from outer space. Going to give you a stinking goat kiss this morning. Poop, poop, poop. <laughs> anyway, moving along here to Mignon Denning. Anyway, says, I'm so incredibly jealous. Here in South Africa, there is no, no way in some parts that we'd be able to enjoy just camping like that. In our little town alone, in the last three days, there have been two killings, unnecessary killings, robberies, and we live in what I call a fortress. That's no life. I agree with you, McNaughton, and there's people in the U.S. living the same way, believe it or not. But those are the people that the news kind of overlooks. But anyway, uh, good luck to you. Sue Martinez. Love Texas water looks so relaxing. Ruidoso, New Mexico will be getting snow tonight and tomorrow. Got to have our late mountain snow. Last night, the storm that you met last night really did a number on Bertram. They decided that it wasn't a tornado, but instead straight line winds. Lots of damage to the buildings on Highway 29. You will be surprised at the devastation in, in that town if you go through. Yeah, in Bertram, yeah, that's not too far from uh, Burnett, Texas. That's in, It's in Burnett County. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I saw the damage on the, the local news channel out of Boston. Uh, anyway, Craig W. Hunt uh, on the Instant Pot Whole Chicken. Your gourmet chefs really know how to chef it up. Most of my food goes into my belly cold and comes out hot, LOL. That's pretty interesting, Craig. <laughs> Yo. This is on the whole chicken instant pot. 
James or John Jackson, you outdid yourself seven eight six zero nine. Actually I did. I got plenty of food, man. Yeah, it's real easy to do. You just you just stuff it in there and first you put some water in there and then stuff the chicken in there, put the lid on, cook it for thirty minutes and you're done. Dorian Christie, enjoyable morning walk, amigo. The air always feels more alive after a good rainy night. Yeah, it, it does. I, it, it's the ozone or something, but be that as it may. Yeah, Any time after a storm, uh, it's uh, pretty nice. I mean, that's kind of the way life is too, isn't it? Stacy Sears on comment call. Thanks, Rusty. On my phone, the Amazon link doesn't seem to show up. But here on my computer, it is absolutely visible. Sorry, I wasted a comment call on a dumb question. Safe travels. Yeah, what it is is on the phone, uh, for some reason, you, you, you don't see the whole uh, description. I don't know why. CR, I go 55 miles an hour. That seems the best for my towing joy. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, the slower I go, the better I like it. <clears throat> yeah, if, if there's no traffic, I'll slow down to 40, 45. I'm in no hurry. Uh, I, you know, I got uh, all the time in the world to do nothing, you know. Uh, this is on the very lightweight travel trailer. This is Helene. Did he mention the tongue weight? If he did, I missed it. Could anybody tell me? Thank you. Uh, Helene, why don't you just go uh, to the uh, go to Google, do a Google search for the that particular travel trailer, and you'll get all the info. Jane Bray, only thing that would make Sparky better is if she was three on the tree. Three on the, oh, you mean like, yeah, I got you. But yeah, uh, the Sparky's okay. You know, I, I, that's a good little old car. I cruised around yesterday. In fact, I'll post a, a driving video at lunch today and uh, probably another driving video tomorrow because I'll, I'll be here tonight and uh, tonight's Wednesday night and tomorrow night, Thursday night. I added one more night. <clears throat> Why? I don't know. Just in no hurry to get back. And, and then this was same site was available for one more night. So I'm going to do a just kind of cruise around here in this area. It's new, you know, you know, variety is a spice of life. Yeah, thank you, Jane Bray, for your comment. Paul S., that is a very nice park. They even have an extra little parking spot for the toad. Yeah, they do, The, the uh, and it's concrete. Yeah, the, all the sites are concrete. Yeah, they're nice, really nice. Yeah, and that's true of most core of uh, engineers' parks. Amy Baum, is Del Rio, Texas, a nice town? My family and I are considering moving to it. Uh, well, you'd have to go there and make up your own mind, Amy. Uh, it wouldn't do any good for me to tell you that it's okay, and then you go there and you don't like it. So, you know, go there and spend a few days. Uh, RV living with the geezer. Uh, walk around the campground. Yep, you're right, Rusty. He headwaters of the Gu Guadalupe are just north of Hunt, Texas. Hunt is about 12 miles northwest of Kerrville. Yeah, I've driven up there. I remember going up there and looking at the headwaters of the uh, Guadalupe River many years ago. Yeah, also, the, the, the Colorado River in Texas starts in Lubbock, or just south of Lubbock, Texas, I think. Uh, Liz Childers, thanks, Rusty. Great walk-around tour. Definitely looking forward to camping there now. It's, it's a nice campground. Uh, they've got another one here. Uh, it's called Potter's Creek. you got Potter's Creek, and then you got Crane's Mill. Uh, but anyway, Leanne Glazier, beautiful place. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And, and the area around here, of course, it's all right in the heart. Of the Texas Hill Country, so when you're driving around here, uh, you're in the Hill Country, and it's a it's some nice drives, and the speed limits are you know 45, 50 miles an hour because it's so windy around. But anyway, Rondolin 134, always love when you take us to new places, boss. Beautiful lakeside campground, yeah it is. And uh, and uh, see next week, I'll be back in Lano. Well, I'll be back in Lano on Friday. <clears throat> And then uh, uh, on the 5th of uh, April, the Monday after uh, Easter, I'm going to take a trip up to uh, or over to Lockhart, Texas and check out some barbecue places and other things, I think. Uh, there's a place here that's pretty interesting. Unfortunately, it's not open. It has some really strange hours. It's, it's the Fisher Store. I'll drive over there today and see if, if, if they're open. I'll see if I can find out their hours anyway. Anyway, thank you, Rondlin. This is Pam Love. The Spark Man delivers another beautiful video. Yeah, that's true. It, yeah, walking around the park is always fun. And walking videos I enjoy doing uh, because uh, they're, you know, you just walk along and it's kind of like, the, 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 there's a guy that does videos. It, it, he's called, the name of the channel is called The Watched Walker. 
and he's in Europe, and he doesn't say a word. He just walks around with a camera, and they're pretty interesting. Das, 1955. Nice spot you got there by the lake, Rusty. Enough said. Back to my meds. Yep, you got it. <laughs> Back to the meds. James Jackson. Uh, now I can say I have been there. That's true. You can say that. Paul D. was there three weeks ago across the lake from you at Potter's Creek till Thursday. Yep. And I, I checked. I thought about going over to Potter's Creek to spend Thursday night, but I couldn't. There wasn't an opening for Thursday night. They, they, they're pretty well filled up, man. They, 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 it's a sign of the times. Uh, there's a lot more people RVing. Uh, in fact, the people over here to my right are, are, are new to full timing, and there's a, another couple I met across the ro uh, road uh, on the other side of the loop that are just new to full timing. And yeah, so there's a lot of people doing this just starting. Uh, anyway, Paul D. again says, a follower of yours arrived at the Canyon Lake north of North Shore Corps of Engineers. Just saw this pace, so I walked the loop. You must be at the other part. Good camping, my friend. Uh, yeah, I'm at the, the uh, Crane's Mill. Eli James, thanks for all, the, for all the great comments and stay safe. And I love your video and I love your RV. Keep it up, Eli James. Back on the meds and back in the closet. R. Fleming. Thank you for the guided tour. Beautiful campground. You're very welcome. Peggy Parker. Rusty, it is absolutely beautiful there. Love the bird sounds and the deer, and you are living a wonderful life. Actually, you know, for me, uh, I do live simply, and I know it, and, and I'm glad for me. But, you know, like yesterday, you know, and I, I go places without my cell phone. Oh, no, no. No, but I do. I actually go around many places, and I don't even take a cell phone. And, uh, you know, and, and I sit out yesterday for about two hours and just uh, listened to the birds and, <clears throat> you know, watched what was going on. I had my binoculars. You know, I got these binoculars a long time ago, and they're really good, you know, because one thing good, uh, these covers on the bottom here, you can't lose them. You know, they, they're, they're attached, but you can't hardly see for all the crap. But, yeah, they're attached, and, and the top ones come off in a pair. So, yeah, they're, they're really neat, and they're, and they're good magnification. What kind are they? I don't know. These are, are Gosky, G-O-S-K-Y. I, I may leave a link to them in the description, because they are. it's good to have a pair of binoculars when you're traveling around or camping, because you can check stuff out. If you see some wild animals, you can check them out. Anyway, let's move along, Rusty. Debbie Wilson, we stayed there for a, a week three years ago. We liked it. Have fun. Yeah, and what, but what happens now, and has been happening for a couple of years, is a lot of people that are full-timers from the north, south, and everywhere, whenever the window opens to make reservations, you know, like they open the window to, for like six months in advance, well, some of these people will go in and book two, you know, two weeks at a time in a big circle, okay? And then they just continue making that circle. You see what I mean? They get a, you know, a year's worth of camping. And if you have the senior pass, uh, it's $15 a day. And uh, so, you know, you get by pretty economically. And it's and, and some state parks, particularly uh, New Mexico, whenever they get fully open. This is Sedge 1. As someone else mentioned, there was a confirmed F1 on the west end of Canyon Lake at 104 a.m. to 106, 100 mile per hour max winds, <clears throat> four tenths mile path, 250 yards max width. Well, whatever it was, I, I felt like it was in my RV. No, it, it was, I knew it was something going on around here because the winds were going, ooh, ooh, you know what I mean? <clears throat> you like that? Devon Dickey, awesome video, and you ended it amazingly. This was on the RVing. Do you need a Sway, sway bar, uh, we should all strive to better our bodies and each other. No, that's true. Yeah, it's sure. You know, if you really want to do something that's healthy, uh, uh, give compliments to other people. You, you wonder why that'll make you, you'll feel better just because you did something that was kind. Not many people do that. But, you know, if you see somebody that's doing something that's reasonably good or they look nice, tell them. Shit, they, you know, it, it doesn't hurt. Jo Julie Golub. You made me laugh with that nesting comment about most women. And <laughs> Jane Bray says, Rusty had me at 20 centimeters. I was like, what? Did he, did he just talk Canadian? <clears throat> yeah, I, I, under, I see hobble centimeters and meters and uh, stuff like that. But anyway, thank you, Julie. 
Yeah, well, it's true. You know, uh, you know, if, uh, never inter uh, underestimate the nesting instinct of any female. You know, whether it's a bird or a human or a chicken or whatever. That's you know, that's a thing. You know, uh, but anyway, Carrie, go for it. Uh, I'd say the people with the generator are doing them right. <clears throat> this is Oliver Lee State Park. Uh, I was walking around there. Okay, thank you, Carrie. This is uh, Patrick London. This is uh, about walking around the campground. Years ago, I was at Canyon Lake, and there wasn't enough water in it to hardly fill a bathtub. Well, it's low now. It's not as low as it was then, apparently, but it is still low. Uh, DM, you're right. You have a good spot, but 14 is better. Yeah, there's several uh, that, that could be better, but, you know, I, you know I, I just picked mine out by looking at the map uh, of the loop and, and the availability because, see, there's a lot of those sites that, that were better, but they weren't available. Or, you know, what I thought was better. Because, see, I've got my view window right here, and what I like to do is back in or, you know, whatever, <clears throat> and have this window looking out into just wide open spaces when I can. <clears throat> but it's not always easy to do. And, you know, I just pick my nose, and that, that will be the picture that the algorithm picks up for the opening. Crazy. Uh, B, Conover 55, sure looks good, Rusty. That's on the Instant Pot chicken. It's amazing you can cook a whole chicken chicken in a short amount of time. And, true, and there's no easy cleanup, man. That's what I like. You know, it's just the, the Instant Pot is muy bueno. Uh, means very good. Uh, Mike H, just wondering, Rusty, did you get rid of your trike or does Trike Man still live? Well, Trike Man liveth. He's going to become uh, uh, Spark Man probably because uh, the trike, they're, they're gone. It's gone, yes. <clears throat> John M., a road trek is at the top of my list for my first RV, probably a Simplicity or a Popular. Easier to drive and, and park, I think, and has everything we need. They can be had for much less than $100,000 if older, maybe 40 to 50K, and they're well built. Well, it's basically just a van. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a, you, you, you'd be just as well off buying you a high box fan van and doing it yourself, you know, because you could buy a high, bo high box van, you know, a reasonably new one for say 25,000 and then uh, put in another 10 and you'd have a super camper that had just had the stuff you wanted, you know, without all the crap, because you, you can do that. If, you, if you're young and you have the tools, blah, 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 blah. Eric Livingston, nice campground, enjoy it. It is a nice campground and I am, it's okay. It's just variety guys, that's it for me. Uh, I'm an elder, thumbs up to you. Uber girl Barbara, thumbs up, thumbs up. And then uh, Der Trixa from the North Sea in Germany. Good evening from the North Sea. Well, good morning to you, Der Trixa. Enjoy your day, sir. Dr. Dan, Dr. Dan, Dr. Dan, be my medicine man. Anyway, this is a walk around the campground. I've got some land not far from there around Hancock on 306. There is a Mexican restaurant named Guadalajara that has good food and ice cold Negra Modelo draft beer that will make you throw that Miller Lite in the trash. Uh, actually, the you know, Modelo beer is good. You know, it's okay, <clears throat> but I'm not going to throw any beer in the trash. You <laughs> forget that dream. And he's also talking about says points of inter interest are uh, Fisher nine pin bowling uh, not far from the restaurant Fisher store. Yeah, and then there's some uh, op opportunities at the Overlook. I'm going to check out some. I'm going to do a driving video today. I'm going to go uh, toward the uh, Fisher store and then uh, probably check out the Overlook. And that'll be the uh, video that I'll post tomorrow. And then uh, on and on we go, guys, one day at a time. Uh, anyway, Rusty, do about three more here. Mike Andre, man, that view, Canyon Lake, never gets old great view of those deer crossing the road too and yay boy they had some bad weather in bertram texas enjoy your stay out there at the lake <clears throat> apparently they had some bad weather in lano texas too william r kirkland pleasant view easy walk thanks yeah it is and then i'm looking forward to doing it again today uh taz mod howdy rusty that's a nice setup i took a class in college on what goes into designing camping parks very interesting Love the Dove songs. Goat. Well, you're going to get another goat kiss, huh? <clears throat> the old stinking alien goat from outer space screaming goat. Get another goat kiss. Last one here, Angie. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to more videos from your stay there. I know you need time to yourself as well, haha. -ha. Not always pleasing me. S sending a great big kiss from North Carolina for you and the 
screaming, stinking goat. <laughs> well, here's one more kiss, and then we'll end the video, guys. There you go. Get that. Anyway, having said that, ladies and gentlemen, from Canyon Lake, Texas, Cranes Mill Park, this is Rusty78609. Say thumbs up. Carpe diem. Carpe diem in Latin, in Latin means seize the day. Seize the day. Carpe diem, seize the day. Adios, bye bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it does not cost you one penny. You just click on the link in the description, go to Amazon, buy whatever you choose, and I appreciate it. Some of you are using the link, some of you have. Thank you very much. Pat, pat, pat. Thumbs up to you. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much as in snack. And the only way to lose weight and keep it off is form the habit of eating less. Isn't that amazing? We live in a world where we've got too much to eat. But anyway, what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress. And relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet it is. Do it several times a day. Might get you off those meds. I don't know. And then what else? Stretch. Stretch. Stretch, swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, 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 exercise your body once or twice a day, every single day. Why? Because it's good for you. You'll feel better immediately, and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your frontal lobes, your brain. Your consciousness, all those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought you have, all your dreams, memories, everything. So, common sense says add good ingredients. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Add good ingredients. You know, don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Why? Because it's negativity times 10. It's the, it's the worst news, most negative news from the entire world. And then the talking heads, and then they argue about it. And then, you know, next thing you know, you're going around doing the same thing. Read it. Just read it. Or do, you, do, do yourself a favor and do your own research. You know, go to Google, type in whatever you're interested in. You know, the whole world is at your fingertips. Learn how to use a laptop, computer, and, uh, and a search engine like Google, and you're, you're free. You're free of the news forever. But anyway, guys, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, and aloha until the noon video. Enjoy your life. Relax. Relax. Adios. Bye-bye.